Say hello to the Lenovo Legion Go. Yes, I got my hands on one of their handheld PCs. Really excited about this, and I'm super happy because Lenovo sent it out for me to review. So a big thanks to Lenovo for that. But I have been testing this out and using it for the last few days. This is my first preliminary video on it. So if you've followed my channel any matter of time, or especially in the last year, you know I'm a big handheld gaming fan, and I bought the Steam Deck. I bought the Asus Republic of Gaming Ally. I like both of those. I really am a big Ally fan, but I really wanted to get my hands on this. Why? Because this combines a lot of different things together. One, you get fantastic power performance. You get the AMD Z1 Extreme chip in here, 16 gigs of RAM, two different models, 512 or one terabyte starts at 699. But it also incorporates something kind of like what you get with the Switch where you can take the joysticks off on the sides and then you can just prop it up. This one actually has a built-in stand on the back so you can take the controls off, set it down, and then you can play with it. That way, of course, you can still connect it to a mouse and keyboard and external monitor. And that's what makes these things so cool. Not only can you do handheld gaming, but you can do modified desktop gaming on the go, especially with this one because it's super special because you can use the controller on this like a mouse yes it has a special dock i'll show it to you here in a minute but you can basically prop it up to where you you have the joystick setting up and you move it around like you would a mouse and then you can use the other joystick in your other hand and you're using it like a traditional joystick for the movement forwards and backwards so you can actually prop the screen up use the joysticks and you can play like first person shooter titles which is something that's really cool and really special so that's cool good speakers IPS panel up to Quad HD Plus resolution, which is nice. Most of the other ones only do like 1920 or even less than that. And then you've got a 49 plus watt hour battery. And the battery life on it so far is okay. But the thing is with these, they're kind of like tethered portable PCs. <laughs> and a lot of people don't talk about this because it looks like a portable gaming station. And it is, and it can be. If you're playing emulators, if you're playing something that's not too demanding, then you can get a couple hours out of the battery life. But if you want to play one of these high-end titles, right? If you want to play Fortnite, if you want to play Dead by Daylight, if you want to play, uh, let's say, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I have it installed on here. I have played it. It does work just fine. you got to play it on lower resolution settings and kind of lower graphics, but it does actually work. And it works pretty well. And one thing that actually surprised me, it has a really good built-in microphone. So if you just plug in a regular set of headphones that don't have a mic built in, you don't need a gaming headset, you can, con you can communicate. You can talk to your pals. You can use the in-game voice stuff. You can set up Discord. I have Discord on here. And it works great with the games too. So this is really the best thing that I found outside of a portable, outside of a desktop PC that you can take this and play it kind of wherever and still get a really, really good gaming experience. I lay in bed. I was laying in bed the other night for like three hours playing Fortnite on here while my kids were at their computers playing on Fortnite, which I wouldn't normally say that because it's kind of embarrassing. But yes, so they brought back the, the OG, kind of the original map after like the fifth season of Fortnite. So I used to play it a lot years and years ago. They kind of lost me with all the craziness but my kids have kind of drawn me back in with that one. So big screen, 8.8 .8 inch, 500 nits brightness, IPS panel. It looks gorgeous. It's got 10 point touch responsiveness as well. So you can touch all sorts of stuff on here. It works well. Touch screen and it's got Windows 11, which you see right here, Windows 11. So that means if you've got Windows games, if you can just install Battle.net, you can install Steam, you can install Epic Game Store, all that stuff and just install it and set it up. And because it's a gaming PC, this isn't like where you're locked in with like the Xbox or the PlayStation, the Nintendo with, you can't change the resolution, you can't change the graphics. What you see is what you get. And if you're a PC gamer, you know as well as I do, sometimes you may not be able to play the latest and greatest games fully maxed out, but you can play them if you turn down the resolution, turn down the graphics and find things to do like that. But really cool. I just got triggers galore. You got the triggers, the paddle buttons. You even got the special buttons back here on the back as well. And then you've got your ABXY right here. Several different menu buttons, a D-pad, two joysticks. Of course, they're lit up with the LED lights around them. And then you even have the touchpad like you get on the Steam Deck, which you can use as a fully functional mouse or you can use it for different gestures or do basically as a mouse in other games. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this up front instead of just staring at me while I hold it and wave it around like a crazy person talking. So here we have it, the Lenovo Legion Go. And I think they changed, they messed up the name. It should have been the Lenovo, Lenovo Legion Joy because <laughs> this thing brings 
So much joy. It is so cool. I really enjoy it. You've got the vent up here. This is where all the hot air comes out of it. And you can turn the fan up. You can control all that stuff in the settings. You've got a special button right here that pulls up the quick settings and you can adjust the resolution. The refresh rate goes up to 144 hertz, which is really nice. Different lighting effects, console key mapping, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You can adjust the brightness and the sound here. And then you can control the specs here. You can see the performance monitor. You can see how much battery we've got left, how much the charging is for the controllers, how much RAM, how much stuff's being used for your resources. And then here, so your thermal mode right here, this is what determines like how much power you're running. So 30 watts TDP is the max. And if you're gonna play Call of Duty, things like that, you really have to have it maxed out. If you turn it down, then what you're gonna get is better performance like battery savings wise, it's kind of like eco mode. If you're playing like emulators or something that really doesn't require a whole lot of power, that's where you're going to want to be at. If you're if you're playing more moderate games, you want to put it kind of in the middle. And if you're playing high end, more performance AAA titles, you're going to want to put it on 30 watts. You can control the fan speed here, have it on full fan, which this is how loud it gets. Now you can hear this with my microphone. It definitely makes some noise, but it's not really an obnoxious noise. It's just an airflow, airflow noise. It doesn't really bother me, and it doesn't really bother anyone around you, I don't think, too much, as long as they're not, like, right next to it. And then, of course, playing with headphones, you probably won't even hear it. So there's that. But you can change all these different power modes, and then you can go into productivity mode, set external display uh, as primary if you want to connect it to a monitor and stuff. And that's one thing that's really, really, really cool with all this is you can actually connect a mouse and a keyboard with it and then set it up and use it that way as an actual portable desktop on the go. So that's really cool. And then this is the case that it comes with. So let me get a little bit more height here. So this is the case that it comes with. Nice rugged case, very similar to all the other ones. You got the Lenovo Legion branding here uh, on, the little, on the little tabs. And then this right here is the base that you connect it to to use it as a mouse. So like I said, you can pop this off, which flip this over here. So you push down on the button and then you pop it off. And the one on the right is the one that's a mouse, but it's got the mouse buttons on here and stuff. So it's not just a joystick. It's also basically a vertical mouse, which is really, really interesting. I have never seen anything like this in my life. So we'll prop this up. So we got that propped up and then this apparatus works with this, at least to my knowledge. There we go. So you got it set up there and then you have to turn it on to FPS mode. And then if maybe you can see this, there we go. Look, ta-da! it actually works as a mouse and that is really cool. Now, I don't know how precise this is. I haven't tested it out yet. Uh, I'm really looking forward to testing it out with, like, let's say, Valorant or something else. And this is really important because some games require you to use a mouse and, and not just joysticks, not just emulation compatible stuff. You have to use a mouse. So the fact that you can set this up and use it as a mouse, and then let's go ahead and detach this one over here. Let's see if I can do this without looking. There we go. So then what you do is you hold on to this and you use the left joystick and this is for your forward, back, left and right. And then you've got the mouse over here and this is how you do it. And I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to test it out on some of the different games, but yeah, th this works really well. Like I said, I've been playing Fortnite on here. I've been playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and so I'll go ahead and I'll fire up a game so we can take a look at this. Uh, I will go ahead and show you Cuphead so you can see some gameplay real quick. This is one of the most frustrating games probably in the history of mankind. Of course, I've beaten it, and I've beaten the DLC as well. But it's a really fun run-and-gun action platformer game that requires like an immense amount of skill uh, and having some hair left on your head because you'll probably want to rip it all out whenever you play it. But this is a, this is a really interesting game that requires a lot of coordination and things like that. But overall, like, I, I've played this one. I've played it on the Steam Deck. I've played it on the ROG Ally, I've played it on the Switch, I've played it on the PC. It's just a, it's a fun one that if you like some of these old school uh, platforming games, we kind of like, this is like an extreme version of Mario <laughs> where you run around and uh, you shoot stuff, you get different abilities and you gotta try and beat all these little bosses. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's something, it's something special that 
I really wish we had more games like this, but I wanted to be able to show something off um, on this on this kind of demonstration for the Lenovo Legion Go. And, and trying to do this and talk at the same time and record, I tell you, is definitely not something uh, that's all that easy, <laughs> I will say, because this is already a, a difficult game. But anyway, you get the picture. It's a fun game. Uh, it can be a really maddening game at the same time, but I don't know, look it up. It's a, it's a fun one. So that's pretty much it with my kind of assessment, initial review on the Legion Go, whenever it comes to this, but I have been a big fan of this. Uh, I, as soon as I took it out of the box and fired up, I wanted one. I almost bought one. I was really surprised that Lenovo sent it out because I had talked to them like six weeks ago. I was like, Hey guys, you want to, you want to send one my way? <laughs> and they're like, well, they're kind of low stock, probably not going to get one. So I hadn't talked to him since then. And then it was funny because it was like 7 o'clock in the morning the other day. And I sent them an email following up saying, hey, just want to check and see if you had any review units back in. I went to go out and eat breakfast with a buddy of mine. I came back home and there was a box sitting on my porch. Step, my porch, my front steps on my porch. And it said Lenovo. And I'm like, what the heck is this? I didn't know Lenovo was sending me anything. I took it inside, I opened the box, and lo and behold, <laughs> this is what it was. So, again, a big thanks to Lenovo, but I love this thing, and yes, it is pricey, starting at $699 for the 512 model, but if you like this stuff, if you like portable gaming, if you've got a life that's on the go, if you're like me and you're lazy and you've always wanted to play computer games on a handheld in bed, <laughs> then this is like the best thing ever. I spend so much time at my computer. I like to play a lot of games also with, with like a joystick. I like to play with the controllers as opposed to a mouse and keyboard. Some of them I like to play with the mouse and keyboard. I really like to, I enjoy playing Valorant. And if you're curious, I'm platinum level on that, which for somebody who's pushing 40, that's pretty good, I think. Uh, maybe not so good if you're like a teenager. But anyway, so I enjoy playing games. I built my kids all their gaming PCs. We play games all the time. Uh, and this right here, it, it just allows me to do that. And also I can take it with me. I can travel with it and you can take it on a plane, train, automobile, all those crazy things. And then internet connections are pretty much everywhere nowadays. So this I think is kind of the future of gaming. And it's the future that I've been hoping and wishing for since I was just a little kid, getting my first Game Boy, getting my Game Gear, always wanting an Atari Lynx, getting the Nintendo uh, DS and all that stuff, Game Boy Advance. I have been into this stuff since I was a kid. So this is like a dream come true I've really been enjoying this. I think it's worth the price tag, at least from what I've spent with it so far in my own time. But all good things must come to an end. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please go to the comment section. We'll talk about it there. Let me know what you think. Are you a portable gamer? Do you think this is viable? you think this is something that's pretty cool that you might be interested in? Let's talk about it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you guys next time.